Today we're looking at the iFi Audio LAN eye silencer. The LAN eye silencer plugs into a router, a modem, a hub, anything with an ethernet plug. You plug the device in there and you plug in your ethernet cable on the other side and you can run that over to your streamer or DAC. The device has a couple of functions. It isolates the power supply, so it keeps the power wires separate from the data wires. And it also has a little voltage regulator in there to give you more stable regulation of power. So this is how I tested it in my system. The reason I purchased the LAN eye silencer is because I was having an issue with some noise. My setup was a Western Digital passport drive and the issue that I was having is this unit is actually fairly noisy. The first hookup method I tried was in the back of my DAC streamer, the Cambridge Audio 851N. And in this case, I was plugging in to the front USB port or the back USB port and I will play the music with the Stream Magic app. Going this route, I would get some hiss coming from the drive. So it'd be a slight really annoying hiss Fairly light, but definitely audible. So I decided, let me try moving the hard drive over to my router. In my home, I use the Asus mesh network. So I have an Asus AX92U here towards the back side of the house with the main unit towards the front. So data is coming over here. And from here, I go hardwired into my streamer with a CAT7 cable. Step number two was to try to isolate the electrical noise from the hard drive by going through the network. So I connected to the USB-C port on the side. In this case, I definitely had a little less hum than I previously did when I had the drive connected directly into the streamer. You can definitely still hear that background noise. The next step was to insert the LAN eye silencer between the CAT7 cable and the router. And I have to tell you, there was definite improvement. The hiss was completely gone. So something in there is definitely blocking the electrical noise that's generated from hard drives. I don't know if this is a case with USB drives. I didn't try a USB drive, but I will tell you if you're using a hard disk that this LAN eye silencer works magic. I would definitely recommend it to everybody. Well worth the hundred bucks or so that iFi is asking for it. Now that's for music that was on my hard drive. I also tested with and without the LAN eye silencer streaming from Tidal Connect, so directly from the native Tidal app, and the same thing. I could definitely hear that when the data came through the LAN eye silencer, I had a darker background for sure, a little more sound stage. So something about that little bit of noise that does leak through those ethernet cables, once you remove it, you definitely have a more enjoyable musical experience things tend to open up a little bit and the background is just darker. I know you hear that a lot about darker background, but until you've really experienced it, when something hits and all of a sudden the music stops and there's nothing there, that's that real life feeling. There is no other noise. So that removing of that extra sound lends to so much more detail opening up in the music. So these little devices that remove all this electrical noise do tend to have a cumulative impact on your system. So every little bit here and there leads up to a big improvement. As for the LAN eye silencer, I'm definitely keeping it in my system. So if you were on the fence about purchasing the LAN eye silencer, I'll tell you, it's a great product. I highly recommend it. I haven't tried their USB silencer. That might have done the similar effect connecting directly into my network streamer. That might be another option I'll try in the future. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my review of the Cambridge Audio Alva ST turntable.